I'm back with another video. Today we are going to solve a 3 by 3 mirror cube. So here we go. So here is the cube. It looks so nice. Its texture texture is also very nice. Okay, back to the point. So let's first revise the pieces. This is the center piece, like just like in the three by three. These are the edges. These four are the edges, like in this, and these four are the corners, just like in the three by three. So let's start. First, let's have a brief introduction about this this special cube. This is one of my favorite cubes. because when you unscramble it its shape gets distorted or its shape gets changed like this that that so that is why this is one of my favorite cubes this is called a mirror cube because it does not have colors like um, a 3 by 3 a normal 3 by 3 it just reflects whatever is in front of it so now how do we you know identify the sides so how we identify is by its uh, by its thickness and its uh, size for example i'll just show you this you see is a very thin layer and it is very small This one is a big layer and it is very thick if you see so we will refer to, uh, to this thin layer as the white color and this back this is the yellow color basically like here in the 3 by 3 you have white and then below that you have yellow same thing i will refer to this side as the white color okay So now let's unscramble it. Okay, so we are here. Whoa. This thing looks cool. Okay. Now to the solving. So, the first thing you have to do is find the most shortest, you know, the shortest uh, center piece. Like these are the center pieces, six center pieces. 1 2 3 4 5 and 6. Okay, so there are three ways of finding the center piece. First thing is find the tallest center piece. So it is this. So this is basically the yellow color. So just tilt it up. Just you know face it up. So this is our um, shortest uh, center piece. So this is our white white um, center piece basically, and uh, second way is you take you know a a very thin edge, and then you match with it. So like this one is the you know the thinnest edge. So I take it up here. It matches. So it means this is the shortest you know, center piece, and it's the white one. the third and the last one is you might have noticed some uh, circles on the center piece like you might have four circles one on each corner of the center piece or a little bigger circle in the middle only one circle so that's how you find um the white center piece so um mine is like there are four circles one on each corner okay so the first step is to make a plus like in the 3 by 3 you make a plus like this it's the algorithms and everything ex is exactly like a normal 3 by 3 this is a special 3 by 3 the only thing is you have to identify it by its um, size and then its thickness and then the second thing is that um, you know it does not have any color and it gets distorted its shape can change okay so like in 
a three by three, what we do is um, we take an edge. Uh, we first take the edge and then see its um, the, its partner color. It is blue here. This edge. So we just match the blue with its centerpiece and then take it, take it up like this and match it with the white centerpiece. So same thing here. The only thing is you have to remember is you have to keep the um, you know the uh, edge uh, horizontal. Like if you keep it upright like this, this is also a very thin edge. It matches with it. But if I turn it any way round, it won't match with this one because it is upright. It's vertical like this. It should be horizontal. So first, let me take an edge, a normal edge like that is horizontal. So I have this one. This is a thin edge. Keep in mind you have to um, keep the white color, uh, white color up, white centerpiece up, or the thinnest one, thinnest centerpiece, or the shortest. So I have this one. Now, what I do is like it's simple. You have it um, horizontal. All you have to do is rotate it all the way and check with which centerpiece piece it match. This, this one, no. This centerpiece is, you know, a bit taller for this one. This one, no. This, this one, yes. It matches. Com no. Even this one does not match. Yes. This one. This one matches completely. Now you have to do. All you have to do is just rotate it twice to the right or to the left twice. So it matches here and it is even matched with its color or its centerpiece. So let's solve one more, uh, you know, one more uh, edge like it. So one example here, I have it in the middle, not in the bottom layer. So what you have to do, see from where you rotate it, like from here or from here. I'll show you. If you rotate it from here, 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 its orientation changes. Like it's upright. It's not. It's vertical. It's not uh, horizontal. You know, so it won't match with any of the center pieces here. Because what you need is like a drawer. It should come out like this, like this. It should come out like this. Then only it will match. So its original position was like this. If you rotate it like this, you see it comes like a drawer. It's like this. It comes towards you. So I will turn it this way, obviously, and then let me match it with its centerpiece. This one, yes, it matches completely. Double time, rotate up from the left or from the right. Either way. Now, if we have a case that there's an edge that is like it's no, uh, it is vertical. It's not horizontal. It's like not coming towards you. It's going down. So, what we have to do is turn it to the left or turn it to the right. But what I would prefer is turn to the left because if you see, if I turn it to the right, there is one edge here. So, if you see in the steps, I have to rotate it to the life uh, right, then left. Then I have to put it down, I mean, and then just match it. So it will take this one also down. So according to me, rotating it this side is the best. So here is my edge. My edge. My edge is, you know, going down. So what I do is uh, I rotate it to the left. I rotate it to the left like this here up left and then what I do is just bring it down so it becomes like a drawer if you see it's already matched with the centerpiece if it wasn't if it was like this rotate all the way check no check no check yes double time rotate up so our three edges are completed 
the last one. Let's find where it's hiding. Okay. So it's kind of tough, you know, to identify where it is because you have to see the shape and size. So here is the one. I got it here. It is upright like the same thing, the same case. So now what I do is rotate to the left or right. Now you can do it any way because any uh, like either one of them has to you know will uh, get stuck with it. So it does not matter where you turn. I turn it to the right. Then I pull it down so that it becomes like a drawer. It comes towards me. So then I match it. Yes, it's matched. Then first I put the old center, uh, the old edge piece back up. So this one I lo rotate it two times from the left, and now our plus is done. The next step is to solve the corners here, the corners. So what you have to do is find a thin corner, like I have this one. This one is a thin corner. So now I have to see. where this corner will come will this corner fit in here no this gap is like you know it's small for it what you have to do is like see like it is the second biggest uh, second biggest corner piece this is the biggest one i'll come to it afterwards so now i need to see where it fits so let me check this here no I already told it's small. This is also small. This one right here is the second biggest place. This is the biggest place, which has to be reserved for this one. So, what I have to do is, like, it's not like the three by three. We do it like this. First, what you have to do is take it um, down to the place where it has to fit. then you take it away from there so that when you do it down uh, when you just uh, push it down its orientation does not change you have to keep in mind that its orientation should not change so so what i do i conserve it here i take it to the left i conserve it and then i put this down i try to match it here and then pull it up did it match No, it didn't. So now put this back up, match it, um, take it uh, right down to the place where it should go to the hole, and then take it to the right, conserve it to the right now. Then pull this thing down. Left turn. Yes, didn't match. Yes, it did. And then pull, put it up. See, a one corner piece is done. Now, one case. What if our corner piece is up above here, sitting at the roof? Down. Turn it to the left. Conserve it. Up, back. So, see, it's down here. It is the biggest one. So, where it should fit? Here. No, this is the smallest one. No, this one. No, this is the second smallest one. This one. This hole here. Yes, this is the biggest hole. So, what I do is first, you know, if it's here, conserve it from the hole. Put the hole down. Take it there. Did it match? No. Put that back up. Then take it down to the hole. Conserve it to the right. Down. This. And then put it up. Did it match? Not yet. How do I do? I tried the two ways. So this is one case when the orientation is not right, like the position, like it should be, you know, upright. Sometimes your piece should be a uh, vertic uh, vertical or horizontal. So I can't say like you have to keep it horizontal or uh, vertical, you know. So to change the orientation. I will not conserve it. I will not conserve it. So what I do, I bring it down any hole, like a hole. 
I should not bring it here because this is already filled up. If I bring it there, and then I put it down, and then I change the orientation, this will go out of place. So what I do, I take any hole, I put it right down to the hole, then I just put it down, I rotate it down, then here, then here, up back. Now first I match which hole I, it is. It should go. This only. So what I do, I have conserved it to the left. Then the hole down, in the hole, not going, does not fit. Too big for the hole. So conserve it to the right. Here, down. Its hole is down. In the hole, did it fit? Yes. So two of our corner pieces are done. Now we have two more left. the smallest and the second smallest first so here i got the second smallest one so the place for the second smallest one is here it's right right below the hole conserve it to the left down then put it in the hole does it fit yes back up okay so we are almost done come on one more left now This one is the smallest one, and it fits here. So, conserve to the left. Down, the hole is down. It's going towards the hole. Does it fit in the hole? No. Now, conserve it to the right. Down, and then in the hole. Does it fit? No. So now, what I do? the orientation is wrong so i place it right below the hole so here is my corner piece i uh, i just put it right below the hole down okay left again left then this should go up the hole should go up so as you saw if i conserve it to the left down and then i just you know place it here it doesn't fit so conserve it to the right the hole down into the hole it fits and yes a first layer is done now for the second layer keep following me i will make another video on the second layer and then the third layer fine bye guys See you till the next video. You might have confusion, you know, solving it because even I had a bit tough time teaching it, um, and I have a feeling that you must have got confused. No problem, just keep repeating the videos, and any queries please put down in the comments. Thank you.